that I am working on so much, I think, mobility and elasticity work. And I just feel better when I start my workout with probably about 20 to 30 minutes of it. I know that sounds a little extreme, but I can't walk around feeling like shit. Yeah. I got to allow, I'm turning 44 next month also, and it's like my body feels better as I kind of increase that a little bit more. So, yeah. I don't know, it's just my, it's my, it's my viewpoint. I know it's a little extreme for most, so like I don't want to be working out 90 minutes, but I don't give a shit. Yep. I don't care. You don't have to do what I do. Exactly, man. It's kind of like you got, you got fashion show uh, clothing yeah. that you need people to design and make and manufacture so that you get a trickle-down effect to JCPenney. Yeah. You know? Yeah, actually, let me grab some. Uh, yeah, I'll grab one in a second. I'm just going to polish this off right now. and yeah. I mean, my, I put my clients on similar things. It's just less total volume. Yeah. You know? Like you could set works. it up. You could do one round of the of the jumps. You could do yep. one round of the throws. Exactly, yeah. It's just to shorten it up a little bit, yeah. and they'll be fine. I, I'm totally in your corner on that. I, yeah, I can raise I can raise one up. That, that's totally fine. Yeah, so we're, we're going to be at the same seat height. You're going to. Yep. It's like a nice, yeah, that's like a nice cruise. Yep. That's nothing too crazy. In my head, I think easy power. Yeah. And then it catches up with you by like the fourth one and you're ready for that break. KG is the heart rate recovery champion of New York City. <laughs> Nobody recaptures a heart rate like this girl. Ready? 45? Uh, go on the zeros. What was your sport? Yeah. That's why you were talking about it. You could kick her ass. <laughs> yeah, I'm known for my uh, vertical game. Oh, yeah? I'm a middle blocker, yeah. Yeah, we just always go on the zeros. I'm just following you. Yep. Second you go, I'll go. Here we go. It's a nice bike in the park right now. 87, right around there. I'll go right here. Oh. Yeah, the first set shouldn't be too bad. Otherwise, the last set will be impossible. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Three, two, one. Ooh, baby. It's fun having a number to kind of compete with. That's all we do Keep you here. honest.
We measure everything here. Round one, how much time are we taking between? Two minutes. Two minutes. So if your timer's still going, it'll be at 5.15. So Pat, explain, explain to everyone why the, 87, uh, the 85 to 89 percent. Well, this is based on a method of aerobic training called aerobic tempo training, which is considered <coughs> to be a less intense aerobic training model. And it comes originally from track and field work, where if you're working with sprinters, you have them run the same distance they normally do in their sprint, say 100 meters, but they're gonna cover that distance in 65 to 70% of their peak time. And so they're going to accumulate volume of what they're doing in their sport at a lower intensity that builds fitness, but simultaneously allows them to recover from their high intensity days. Right. So this is not meant to crush to you. Exactly. Right. We're building fitness, really good aerobic fitness, work tolerance, all that kind of stuff, but we're not going at a level of intensity that's going to snap you in half. I have mine that doesn't mean it doesn't suck though. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. On the RPMs? I'm trying to get 85 to 89. So that's a Pat said we Yeah. It's fun keeping an eye on it. But what you'll see is we'll accumulate 22 minutes of heart rates somewhere between 70 and about 88%. Right. Which in a way is almost keeping you in that steady state range a bit. That's exactly you it. You know, that 120 to 150, yeah. 140, whatever you... That's why it's considered to be a lower intensity version of aerobics. But it's not it works. easy. Works. Low intensity doesn't mean low effort or easy. It, it works. Just, and it's funny, it's, I feel like so many people miscategorize HIT training. Yeah. They all, people are like, this is HIT, like this isn't HIT. No. Like, you know, but yeah. people don't really know what true HIT is. No, no idea. They saw what true HIT is, they're not repeating 15 times. Nope. We get a lot of people that come in here that think they do a lot of interval training. Yeah. They usually last about two rounds. Yeah, this. yeah. And then they're crying to their mamas. It's like, hey man, you're halfway. And this is only the first thing we're doing. And a deconditioned individual can't really handle true hit training. No, they can't recover. And their body can't handle it sometimes, no. you know? We were talking about that in the true form the other day. It's too technically advanced. Yep, 100%. For them to put that type of output in. This sucker though, Hey, you just hold be, it at this number. Can it's you unbelievable. That? All I need to do is stay at this number. Yep. Very simple. I'm such a fan of this. The bang for the buck, too. Yep. They're so inexpensive. They're portable. They're lightweight. Ooh, baby. Three out of four. Three out of four. Yep. yep. <clears throat> See, we're going to be in the mid 80s. She'll drop down to 60s in between. Yeah. She'll get just as high as up, but, but then she recovers. Recovers so fast. Really fast. It's impressive. Yep. That's, that's a professional athlete for you. Hell yeah. Oof. Easier for me to hit 90 than maintain 87. I don't know why. <laughs> Speed's like more natural. Slow it down. Uh. <laughs> K 
KG getting after with a smile on her face the whole time. It's annoying. <laughs> she just eats I'm up. smiling right now in a few sets. Kate's like, make makeup isn't smeared. <laughs> Looking all like, ah. No, we got her one day out in the track last year. You got her once? One day, yeah. one day she like. I want to be there for that. Passed out basically. And, I, and of course I took it. What's the matter, princess? Can't hang. Ain't so fun anymore? No, <laughs> she, she's like. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was cool though because my shoes were so saturated with sweat. If I took a step, it would squeeze out like a sponge. I had to bring three pairs of shoes every day. Now, just curious, why the conditioning beforehand? Do you want to set the heart rate in a specific range to be able to maintain it? This block is a conditioning heavy block. Yeah, yeah. I was figuring when I saw it laid out. But the uh, upper body day ends with this. Good music selection. Whose music? It's good music in here. Yeah, yeah. Five seconds. That's all right. I kind of do everything, so I'm Three, easy. Two, two, one. Old school stuff, though. Let's go, as my son says. My 12 year old's doing that now. Gets pumped up, he's like, let's go. I wonder whose son that is. Oh my God, the best. So much fun. How's your little one? He's doing really good. How old? He's gonna be 10 months on April 3rd. Oh, so he's, is he walking yet or close? No, no, I mean, he's holding himself up, but. Do you have him doing like pull up hangs yet or anything or what? I know you. He's uh, <laughs> I just time, I time him on tummy time. <laughs> Three, two, two one. one. Tummy time, I love that word. Round three, bike. Halfway there. Yep. <laughs> There's a reason it's called athletic weapon. Oh yeah. I like it. If you survive this, you'll be a sharpened sword. Three, <laughs> two, one. I love it. What was your last book with all the 80s analogies? Oh, that was uh, Mass 2. That was well, fantastic. Mass 1 had, was based on Rocky 4. Oh, so fun. And Mass 2 was based on Terminator 2. So fun. Every, every chapter, time I hit a chapter. Yeah. I every must time. break you. Check out Pat's book, Mass 2. He's got a bunch of books out. Very fun, very entertaining. But every chapter I hit, it was another 80s line. I've been bed yelling out like, Terminator 2. Hasta la vista, baby. Last one of round three. Yep. Two, one. The RPMs are getting easy now. Okay. To maintain That's, it, it's good. You get into the groove with it. Get in the groove. 
Oh, that quad pump's real though. What'd you say? She's thinking, she's thinking poolside. Don, you took a little dip in the Red Sea on that one. Did I? Yeah, you went into 90. Wow. That's pretty good if you're feeling pretty good. I feel great. Point. Yep. I feel like I recover quick, so it's like, hey, it's like Kate says, better red than dead, baby. <laughs> that was three. We're going into fourth one more. round. Yep. Last one. One minute. That's beautiful, Don. You're down in the 60s. Yeah, feel pretty good. <coughs> I feel like in like 30 seconds, I'm kind of like, okay, I can go. I may not be maximal output, but I feel like it recovers quickly in that amount of time. It's the single best metric for health and aerobic fitness. Yeah. Two minute recovery heart rate. Yeah. Yeah, no, the it's best been... predictor of death, if anything. You look so, like somebody that's hard to kill. You got that Steven Seagal training program going I just on. watched a movie with him in it last night. What was the, uh, was it, Justice? no, Final Destination oh. was it? The, the one with Kurt Russell? I actually watched that last Here night. Here we go. Ready, let's do it. A Seagal Kurt Russell joint. It was the one where they had to take over the plane that okay. was that got hijacked. Okay. And they had to land that like stealth bomber underneath it. And Seagal dies in the beginning of the movie. He gets flown off. But he's not really dead? Or is no, you know, he died. He's gone. The, uh, is that the one with all the action heroes? No. The, no. I don't think I know this one. It's funny, they were transporting him in a tunnel and the whole plane's gonna die. And they're like, we're not gonna make it. And Seagal goes, you're gonna make it. And shuts the thing and it kills himself to save the whole plane. <laughs> I'm not gonna make it, you're gonna make it. And you see Seagal fly off. He's sitting there like crying. No, Steven. There we go. Oof, oof, there we go. Oof, halfway on this. Oh. Oof. Round three. Let's do it. Ooh. One more go. Me and we you. Got one more. And then we get to train legs. <laughs> Best part. I'm psyched. I haven't been on the Kaiser in a long time. Long time. Yeah. It's kind of like a lot of the plyo work. It'll take a set to like yep. oh, find that sure. rhythm. Here we go, final yep. ride. Final ride. About 22 minutes, right? Yeah. Love it. That's exactly it, yeah. Yeah, buddy. 
Yeah, buddy. Ain't nothing but a peanut. There we go, KDG. Let's go, Limon. Limon, I like that. Well, it's a little bit spicier. Or limoncello. <laughs> Limon. Silly entro. So we're done with these now? Okay. Yeah. Ugh. So that was, uh, that's what I call one hour of fun. Yep. All right, but that was pretty cool. So he was able to pull up the heart rate. We were able to compare how much work we actually put in. Um, what are you measuring the work effort on? Is it, it's not on calories. What's it on exactly? Well, we have, it gives us a few different variables. We get average heart rate for the whole time. Um, so we were all very similar. What was the average heart rate for all of us? 77, 75. Cool. Uh, Maximums were, I hit 110, which should be impossible, but. Uh, 110 actually, what? 110 of the, like, 110%. Oh, 110%. Yeah. Up here. So I just went above the age predicted heart rate max for me. You should be dead. Should be dead, but. And then, um, but it, it might have been an error too. Could have been, yeah. It makes an error. Yeah. But we all got over 90 at some points in time. And uh, we were all probably, I mean, the, the average heart rate is probably the best indicator. Like we all worked. What was our average heart rate? You were 75. 77, 78. Yeah, so we're all in that range, yep. which is, yeah. Which okay. Is one of the, yep. Okay. Awesome. And then you can see the percentage of times you were in the different zones too. So. Red, orange zone, 46, 43, 34. See that? 37 yeah. for the green, 24, 27, 16, 21, 25. So we're pretty similar on yeah. what we did. Uh, yeah, me and Don were a little bit more of the gray zone. You guys recover a little bit more. A little bit more, but it's small. And we're ready for the lift. We're ready for the lift. It is fun to quantify these numbers, and I'm not saying this, I'm not trying to discourage anyone, but I think this is an example of where you could take your fitness, right? Yeah. A lot of people at home, if you're just getting off the couch, don't feel like you have to do this, you don't. We've been doing this our whole lives. So for us, we kind of turn into a little bit gym dorks here where we like these quantifiable numbers. But for those of you struggling to get off the couch, just get your ass off the couch, that'll be enough for now. Yeah.